Well, dear congregation, I ask you to please fix your eyes firmly upon that word that I read to you and you're hearing there. If you turn with me in Second Kings chapter 8 this morning and we consider there was a, a woman, I shouldn't say she's a widow here, but she had a son. I'm thinking here of this woman who had a son who was restored to life. There was indeed in the Lord Jesus Christ day, there was a, a widow whose son was stored to life, the son of Nain. But here, this woman is not a widow. She has a husband and he has been restored to life. And we want to think on these first few verses and then the rest of the chapter. We read, then spake Elisha unto the woman whose son he had restored to life, saying, Arise and go thou and thine household, and sojourn, wheresoever thou canst sojourn. For the Lord hath called for a famine, and it shall come upon the land seven years. Now, there are various things to consider, first of all, and I need to say by way of introduction before we come and we consider these verses in the rest of the chapter. As we come to this chapter this morning, we thought in the last two chapters chapter 6 and chapter 7, how judgment came to Samaria, how there was a famine even in the land, and how the king, Jehoram, was destroyed. Now, it should be fairly easy to see, and I take the view here, that these things happening here actually take place shortly before that destruction of the city. I shouldn't say the city was destroyed, but the Syrians came round, there was a famine And many of the people resorted to this terrible act of cannibalism. We saw those two women.